My name is Dan Kittredge. I'm the director of the Rail Food Campaign, and we're here um, exploring a number of management principles for maximizing vitality in the system and nutrition in crops. So we're going to be discussing conductivity here. This is my conductivity meter. They come in many shapes and sizes um, and functionalities. So a conductivity reading um, gives the grower a good understanding of the mineral level um, energy level, nutritional level availability in the soil and when you get crops that are large and filling lots of fruit they're pulling a lot of nutrition out of the soil to do all their biological processes and that they generally will pull out everything that's available and the conductivity will drop, the energy available will drop then you'll see disease show up, then, you'll, then the plants will get infested um, and then they'll die. So if we can maintain the conductivity level in the soil as a proactive management strategy, uh, we can get our crops to produce for an ex extended period of time, long beyond what we're used to. So I'm going to show here in very simple fashion how one takes a conductivity test with this specific meter. It's one part soil, which is obviously too dry. One part water, distilled water. Shake it up, put the meter in and get a reading. We're generally looking for soil conductivity levels uh, at planting to be 200 millisiemens. And um, when a crop is at this size, uh, filling fruit between 6 and 800. So simply do this and put the, put the meter in and you get your reading. That's it.